right, Mark, we're here in front of the packet building. Tell us a little bit about it and take us on a tour. Well, the first thing to look at, of course, is the new leaded glass window. So we found that up on the fourth floor. We restored it and uh, built a new frame for it and installed it. And that's the final piece of glass for the entire facade, which is now completely finished. We added security cameras, we added exterior lighting, we painted everything, we made everything look nice. We planted new trees. So our idea now is to have trees, these are elms, that are gonna be on both sides of the street. We're gonna try to get them all the way up the street, put them on both sides. These will grow pretty tall, and they'll, we'll have a canopy as we approach the downtown. As, as I said, we're the entrance of the downtown, the gateway. This will be now a tree-lined gateway to the downtown. Attic Rehab is something that we're very fortunate to have with us because this not only gives a beautiful opportunity for many artists in the community to sell their work and uh, the two women that own this to, to produce their work that they sell, it also gives an outlet for the artists that are actually in our building to then have a retail outlet for the work that they make. So some of the things that you see here are actually made by the tenants of the PACA building. The next thing that we did here, which was very exciting, was to create a new art gallery, which will have its art opening this evening. And artists had a chance to rent a space on the wall. And we charged then hardly any uh, commission. And we now have brand new artists that have never shown work before, and the work is good. So we added new heating, we added new lighting. So all this is brand new lighting, all the LED lights. These are special lights designed just for art galleries. So that's why you get that clean white light on the art. So this will be available for people to show their work in the future. So we'll go back up to the second floor. It's not very attractive right now. It's not very attractive right now, but this section back there where you see that door where it says Erie Clay Space Gallery Night, that's where the wheelchair accessible bathroom is going to be. So we'll have a process here and a ramp that will go into that area which will open up and we'll have two sets of a male and female wheelchair bathroom. Also accessible from the t-shirt company and also accept accessible from the art uh, gallery. So the whole first floor as well as the main stage will be available. Come on in. The elevator is from 1813. Come on in 1813. Yes. It's actually inspected every year. So we'll go here and then we'll go up to the fourth floor. So here. We now have this art gallery available. Again, new lighting to make things look better. Um, this artist is a very famous artist in China named Lu Bin. His wife came and they were educators in uh, Edinburgh this last year. So all this work is work that he created within the last year right here in Edinburgh. So he's going back to China. The, the couple is going back to China uh, by the end of the month and we were very lucky to be able to put their art on the wall and show it off during the run of the next play and gallery night in two weeks. So I mean, there's some, there's this, this horse one is amazing. The two women holding the swans is amazing. I mean, there's some, there's some great work here. And this of course goes in, this is Richard Sadley Air. Um, this is a, a local uh, woman named Rebecca Kopik, and she is showing her work, and she is coming up that she'll have another show uh, very soon here when she'll fill the gallery. We just wanted to tease it a little bit. This, of course, is our theater. We have an opening night this evening, and uh, it'll run for six performances. These are local talents. And uh, the next play that we're doing here is Night of the Living Dead, the musical. And that'll open in October. And then next year after that, we'll do Rocky again. But this is a great play. It's funny. Uh, it's called Sex with Strangers.
directed by Craig Snyder. So we build all these sets, we strike all this stuff, we save all this prop pieces, or junk as some people would say. We have a very small, intimate theater where you are literally six feet away from the actors. You know, you're 20 feet away from the edge of the stage is the farthest you are. That's a remarkable thing, that's very intimate. When, a, when an actor stands on the edge of the stage and emotes, you feel it um, as a result of the intimacy. We're happy with our theater. We're gonna have a projection, so we have like the cyclorama on that side, you'll be able to, the audience will look through the window and they'll be able to see the weather change. We get pretty technical around here. So, and we built a dance studio in the back, and actually Michael Murren is back there right now, and he is the, gonna be the director for the next play, Night of the Living Dead, the musical. So this is Michael Myrna, he is the director of the new play. Uh, Michael is connected to some people here in Erie and he was able to come and see when we did uh, Equus. Equus. Right. And I think he liked the production and nice. so our goal here is to shop, you know, to workshop this piece and to get the kinks out and to do a great show for the Erie audience. The long term plan of course is to take it to Broadway. That is the plan. That's the plan. So here we are. The composer of the piece is from Erie. So Erie artists who are growing, we give a space to that artist and then we try to make it happen on a bigger scale. Yeah. That's it. Crazy. Back to your insurance company. <laughs> and let's go up to the fourth floor. Third floor is the same. This floor is being redone and everything's to code with all the, the heavy duty metal studs, the firewall here. This is special drywall, it's an inch thick. This will be a, no, a new art studio that this piece that you see here and this piece here will be connected into a new studio. These are the new windows with the arches on them. So we had them built with arches on them so they match the exterior of the building because the fourth and fifth floor have arches. But this will be a new, a new space. Then we opened up this door here this was formerly closed. There's going to be a, a door here. We'll end up with another art studio here. So this will be another art studio. All the electric has been redone. All the drywall is up. All the build walls are insulated. We're going to get a new window there and new heat. But if there was an artist that was looking for a space, this is, this is roughly one, two, three, six, seven, eight hundred square feet. In New York City, that's two apartments. <laughs> and we do have an archery range here. And as soon as we get all of our inspection pieces here together, we'll open it to the public. So this is I mean, it's still in a rough stage right now, but this will be where the archery range will be when we get our occupancy permit. We have two new wheelchair accessible bathrooms going in here. So there'll be a door here, of course, that will swing. This stuff will all get cut out. And we'll have a new toilet and a sink with the grab bars and everything will be here. So we have two of these. So that there are, there are a lot of kids that are, uh, are in a wheelchair that would like to do archery or would like to do theater. Um, this makes us able to work with a, a new population. And then this part here is all done. This is a fire hallway. In case there's a fire, the people would be able to run through here. And this is a, a particularly fire rated hallway with insulations on both sides and things. And special panic hardware and lighting in the back. We're not done with that yet, but this will be safe. And we have our own storage back there for props. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, so all this is, this is, this is a, where if we have to pay up a future set of bathrooms, they'll be here with the, the doorway there. So we already put doorways in in case we have to cut the doorways in the future. 
So we could actually make another set of bathrooms here if we want to. We have to. And this will be a new, like a wood shop that we use. And we'll move our tools over. What's up, guys? What up? What's up? <laughs> These are the guys that are hanging the drywall. <laughs> this is Nick and Chris. So they're the ones putting, doing all the work. I just, I just talk at them. They do all the work. I don't do anything. And we insulated this room up here. Believe it or not, I'm thinking about putting a TV studio in here. Right in here. I'm working on it. Thinking about it. So this is new. And this has these wonderful windows. Mm -hmm. But on the fifth floor, it's wide open. And uh, the fifth floor is really where I want to put condos eventually. Mm -hmm. I think that Erie needs more people living downtown in reasonably priced housing. That's the tour, brother. Yep. Thanks for coming. <laughs> All right.